Hello avid followers, welcome back to the channel. In today's news, in a scathing op-ed for The Guardian, Aro Madawi outlines her belief that Jared Kushner, senior advisor to President Donald Trump and an authority on the coronavirus task force, may be the most dangerous man in the US. Madawi pointed to Kushner's first public appearance at a White House coronavirus press briefing on Thursday and the glaringly obvious danger he poses. She noted Kushner has been able to fly under the radar thus far due to his wooden demeanor. Kushner was supposedly at the press briefing to explain the work he has been doing, Madari wrote. However, despite him repeating the word data 13 times, it quickly became clear that he has no idea what he's doing. It, there was a moment during the appearance which was slammed by Vox writer Aaron Rupa for its use of empty corporate buzzwords. That drew the particular attention of critics. Kushner suggested the federal stockpile of medical equipment, which is crucial for hospitals dealing with coronavirus patients, is not intended for the state use. It's supposed to be our stockpile, he said, which Madawi suggested reflected his lack of understanding of the supply. According to Madawi, Kushner's position of power reflects a new take on the Peter Principle, which is a management theory that postulates people in hierarchies rise until their level of incompetence. She suggested that Kushner reflects a correlation to the Peter Principle. The idea that a handful of mediocre middle managers, through a combination of privilege and luck, manage to rise way beyond their level of incompetence to a point where their her hubris poses a serious threat to the world. Madawi concluded her piece by claiming Kushner is not just a doofus, but dangerous. The Guardian writer is not alone in her sentiments. In an op-ed for the NBC News, Jordan Libowitz claimed that Kushner's position on the task force exemplifies the dangers of nepotism. He suggested Kushner's authority on the task force is putting American lives at stake. In this sense, Libowitz wrote in a situation was different from the standard Trump family grit. Leibovitz noted the private nature of COVID-19 task force, which casts a shadow over Kushner's work. He was appointed to the 39-year-old investor's past troubles with his financial disclosures as a cause for concern. For example, Kushner previously failed to disclose his co-ownership of Cadre, a real estate investment company, which likely benefited from the opportunity zones he and his wife, Ivanka Trump, championed. The tax breaks of the Kushner family would potentially receive is just one of many opportunities for the corruption that exists within the Kushner shadow. Coronavirus Task Force. That is all for today's news. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next video.